Today was the first ever Maxis Monthly, and it came with some Sims 4 news about new free gameplay that will release later this year. Just to emphasize that, these are all free improvements that will come in a patch. All of this was apparently meant for the October gameplay patch, but it's been delayed in order to give the feature some polish, which is respectable. A new work from home career was announced, the Style Influencer Career Track, discussing outfits and fashion are early daily tasks and Sims can write fashion articles. Fashion Designer will allow you to use Create a Sim actively to further your career by giving Sims makeovers, which also has a focus on photography and painting. At least two new objects are given to Sims who are promoted in this career, but they focused on one, the Sketchpad, kind of like a portable easel that will let you create digital art on the go without the bulk of an easel. Two branches of this career exist, though they only showed one, Stylist. Silas get special functions and unlock a new category of illustrative paintings. It's not clear if this is exclusive to the career branch or if all painters will have access. Hopefully all painters can use it. I really like the look of illustrative painting category, even if we haven't seen much of it yet. I've just always liked a nice sketch. Fashion designers can ask other Sims to model a look, discuss fashion, and even give Sims a makeover. You'll be able to help poorly dressed Sims rock a better look and advance your career in doing so. Throughout your neighborhoods, high-level fashion designers can actually create trends and you'll spot Sims around the town wearing the look you designed. That was the bulk of the stream, and rather than really announce it, as the stream was closing, they started using a new terrain tool to create hills on a lot, and at this point, Twitch chat went absolutely nuts. It's amazing to finally see this, and it's going to lead to a new level of creativity in the Sims 4 building community. They actually managed to build one part of the lot up higher with another lower. At present, separate buildings have to have the same amount of foundation. It's a really annoying limitation. But using hills to alter terrain height should allow builders to get the look they really want. Whether this will come with allowing foundations to be of varying height or not is unclear. I kind of wonder if you can make a hobbit den with this tool. The terrain tool is something people have heavily requested to be able to customize their home lots, and even if you don't understand or agree with this, so has Fashion Designer. They also hinted these are just the features they're ready to show off and that there's more to come when this patch drops later this year. While I tend to focus on gameplay guides, when I'm able, I'll be covering Sims 4 news in this format. Subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to learn about the game and see content like this. Thank you for watching and happy simming.